Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. Going paperless is a goal we all share. Not only is it more efficient, but it's better for the environment. Less paper wasted equals less trees getting cut down to produce that paper. But when it comes time to fill out the paperwork, what we typically do is print the document, fill it out, sign it, then scan and email or fax it back. It doesn't have to be that hard though. If you own a Mac, you can use Preview to fill out all of those blanks, including the signature line. By filling out documents on your computer, you can skip all those unnecessary steps and save a lot of time and resources. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Preview to fill in documents using annotate with text, highlight sections of documents using shapes, and finally add a signature using your webcam. Let's get started. On screen, I have a sample tax form that I'd like to fill out using Preview entirely, so I don't have to print this out, fill it in with pen, and then scan it or fax it back. So to do this, I'm going to go to Tools, Annotate, and I'm going to choose text. That will drop a text box into the page that I can drag to wherever I need to add text. I then double click, type the text that I'd like to add, and then use the hand once again to make sure I've got it in the right place. If I'd like to repeat this step for the other fields, it's as simple as doing a Command C and Command V to copy and paste that and then drag it into the other fields. So filling in the company name is the exact same procedure. Now imagine that I need to bring attention to one of the fields. If I had this printed out, I'd probably use a highlighter, but this can also be easily done in preview as well. From the top toolbar, I'm going to choose Tools, Annotate, and then I'm going to choose the Rectangle option. This will place a rectangle onto my document. I'm going to grab the rectangle and use the blue circular handles to resize it and move it to where I'd like to highlight. Now to add the highlight effect, I'm going to go up to the fill section, and instead of choosing one of these solid colors that would just overlay on top of the document, I'm going to choose the show color option. Here I can not only set the color, but I can also set the opacity. So as I turn down the opacity, I can add a really nice highlight effect without covering up the text underneath. Lastly, if I scroll down to the bottom of this page, I see that it's going to require a signature and a date. The signature actually requires two steps. One, I need to get my signature into the preview application. And the second step is to go ahead and insert that signature into the document. To insert the signature, I'm going to go to Tools, Annotate, Signature, and then I'm going to go to Manage Signatures. That brings up the signature box on my toolbar, and I'm going to go to Create Signature. I have two options to create a signature. I can either use the trackpad on my laptop, or I can hold up my signature signed on a white piece of paper and let my webcam kick on and scan it. I'll click click here to begin, and I'll use my finger on the trackpad to make myself a signature. When I'm done, I can press any key, and then I click Done. Now you see I've added a third signature as a viable option. Now I'd like to add an additional signature using the webcam on my MacBook as kind of a scanner for a signature that I've written down on a white piece of paper off camera. So I'm going to come to the signature button here, and I'm going to click Create Signature. I'll click Camera. Now you want to make sure that your signature is on a nice clean white piece of paper with nothing else on it. Then simply hold it up to the camera and keep your signature slow and steady on the line until the Mac has had an opportunity to scan it. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and hit any button and then click Done. You can see the signature has been added as another viable option. To insert that signature into this document or any other document going forward, all I do is click on it and drag it to where I need to insert my signature. And I can, of course, resize it to make sure it fits the line appropriately as well. Going paperless is very popular these days. And why wouldn't it be? The time and ink savings alone make it worthwhile. So the next time you have a document that you would normally print, fill out, and scan, why not give Preview a shot? In this tutorial, I showed you how to fill in documents using Annotate with text. Highlight sections of those documents using shapes, and even add a custom signature using your webcam or your trackpad. Thanks for watching.